How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. We also got to put in the disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. And you know what time it is. It is time for the joke of the day. If you're new to this channel, we do this five days out of the work week. Maybe you had a long, maybe you had a stressful day, or maybe it was the market conditions. Well, you came to watch this video, plus hear one of my corny jokes. Here it comes. What did the Buddhist ask the hot dog vendor? Make me one with everything. Get it? You know, make me one with everything. A hot dog Buddhist. <laughs> but anyways, what we're going to be talking about today is OCGN. Of course, before we get started, we have to go over an agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you guys know we have timestamps down below in the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're considering to take a position, then I suggest you watch this entire video. So the first thing that we're going to be going over, we're going to be doing a recap. What happened with Oxygen for this week? I feel it's really good to get reminders to show that, hey, things are moving forward. Many of you are seeing, hey, why is the stock pulling back? Why won't we get a catalyst? Why is this happening? Hey, let's see where we are right now. Currently appreciate those things and then look forward to what we want to really look out for. So we'll be covering that first. Secondly, we're going to be doing a technical analysis, taking a look at the overall price action for today. Are we around support? Are we experiencing resistance? What happens if we continue to have fluctuations inside of the stock? And where do we know that we are safe with our investment? I feel this is very key. So we're going to be covering that. And then afterwards, we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. What we really want to know is how much buying and selling was going down, especially when it comes to large scale orders. What this means is what are the institutions? Where is the big money actually going when it comes to this stock? And then when all of that is done, I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts. So let's get into it. Now let's go over the recap. As many of you know already, Ocugen getting the distribution rights to Canada gives them a great opportunity. They open up into newer markets and the more markets that they could potentially get into, I think will bod very well. Another thing to also understand, this opens up the fact that, hey, if they can bring in some more revenues, this can be reflected on the balance sheet and as well as on the earnings reports. So this is why this is very key news. Many of you were saying, hey, so why didn't the stock price go through the roof when that news came out? Yes, we did have a little bit of a pop, but of course it ended up having a sell-off. And you do need to understand, when I look at these current prices and what's going down with the stock, we got to say, hey, it's doing a great job holding up levels of support. We also do know this gives you an opportunity to get a stock at a fairly good price. Can it pull back even further? Of course it can. But at the same time, at least it didn't run up and at least there's some time and you can't say, well, you know what? I missed it because, you know, nah. You have an opportunity, it's something to consider, of course, with added homework and as well as due diligence. We also do know the fact that Browtech is getting those trials done, and sorry, done, getting those trials underway in regards to the pediatric age group. So this is the age group between two to 12 and as well, I know they were talking about two to 18. So what does this mean? I feel like if Covaxin shows to be very successful and the efficacy ratings and everything looks good, safety ratings, everything that needs to be incorporated with that particular study, it gives them a really good niche here. And we were talking about this in previous videos as well. We know that they want to get the vaccine to younger populations, but they want to make sure it's safe and it is effective. Effective. So Covaxin getting the head start in this particular area, I think will bought very well and it will definitely help out in Canada and as well as the US and benefit Ocugen overall in general. And then also to finish this off, we already know the master file has been submitted. So we are waiting for that EUA or some sort of an update so we can see that being reflected in the stock. We know that it's going to be coming as far as the decision sometime in June. 
So that's why I got to say, you got to be patient if you are in this particular play and you already know what the potential upside can look like for this stock. So now let's get into the technicals and we'll go over the order flow and then I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for OCGN. So let's see how it closed. So it closed at $8.72, being down 1.91% on the day. On the low, it tested $8.64, then on the high, testing $9.09. .09. So the chart that we're currently using to keep you updated is actually the one day, one year chart. And what we wanna see is how the price action is looking. So as far as where OCGN closed at $8.72, it is still looking fairly strong here. It is above the 200 day, it is above the 100 day, and it's literally not too far from the 21 day EMA being at $8.90. So it's is there more room for downside? Yes, of course, but do keep in mind of the fact we did test highs of $9.09, .09, which is well above the 21 day. So I'm going to still stick with the fact as long as we can hold down this area of support of $8, which we've mentioned many times, OCGN is going to continue to look very strong here. Another area to also keep in mind of the fact, and we've talked about this already, is right here around this 830 level and also right around this 850 level so taking all of this into consideration that's what i'm looking forward to seeing ocgn hold up those areas of support and as far as going on for next week we already know we're waiting for a variety of catalysts here we do know and we are aware of the fact this ten dollar level does serve as an area of resistance and it also is a psychological level i know once we pass this particular area it opens up, opens us up for quite a strong run here so that is something to keep in mind but before we even look at that, again, it's going to come with a lot of momentum and the right news and the right catalyst coming through. But for the most part, things are looking really good from what I'm seeing. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for OCGN. So we can see on the inflow side, we had 49. And then on the outflow side, we had 42. So as far as large orders, we had zero. Medium orders, we had 36. 12 for small. On the outflow side, zero large orders. Medium, we had 28. And then small, we had 14. So the inflow definitely ended up beating out the outflow for today. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, yes, we had zero today. But if you look at the third and as well as the second, institutions have been loading up. Sorry, large scale orders have been being put in. You can see on the third, it was 722. 0.77 and then we could see on the second it was 1354.08 so just seeing this overall in general they're loading up on the dips they're loading up when it is below nine dollars i want you guys to be aware of this so even though you may not be seeing the price action that you're actually looking for especially in regards to when the canada news was released Hey, the price staying where it's at and staying on that area of support like we talk about on this channel, being strong above $8 is not a bad thing. It just widens the window of opportunity if you are considering to get into a position. So now let's get into the final thoughts. So for my final thoughts for OCGN, Hey, we have to continue to stay patient. I know I've been saying that for quite some time, but that's what's required for this particular play. One thing that I'm seeing, and I really like it, that it's holding up that $8 level. We know they did a direct offering at $10 as well. Many institutions loaded up at that price. So it being below that, if you're able to get in, then that's definitely a good position that you would be starting. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to buy here. Again, this is on top of your homework and as well as your due diligence. But looking at the current price, I see an opportunity in my personal opinion here. And it's part of the reasons why we talk about it a lot on this channel. And we already know there's a big need in this world for Covaxin. It uses a traditional formula, something that is something that we are actually aware of and we see as far as when they're doing their trials and so forth. And again, they are using on their older age groups in India. Hey, it's something that we really need to take notice of, especially when it comes to severe cases, also different variants. Again, like, like you guys already see it. Like I want to see Covaxin on a worldwide scale. Or I should say on a global scale, especially over here 
here in Canada where I'm from. So we just got to wait, see how this thing actually turns out. Look out for the next video. That's going to have the updates from Fintel and as well as a lot more as far as sharing some information that I also came across on Reddit with you guys over here on YouTube. We'll be talking real soon.